Google released an update for Google Notebook LM, which is going to fundamentally change how I research, how I learn, how I create content, literally save me hours every single week. I'm about to show you exactly how to use Notebook LM across four game-changing workflows that you can copy immediately to transform your productivity. And this is all using its brand new feature, let me show you. On Notebook LM, we've always had the ability to add sources. So we can add sources from Google Drive, we can add links, websites, videos, and we can also just paste in text. There is this new option here in the top right, we can see Discover Sources, and this is an absolute game changer for a bunch of different use cases, which you will learn by the end of this video. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna give you a quick example. So I am interested in the history of bananas. So we can actually hit start and it is going to start looking up websites about the history of bananas. So we have all these sources now that it has just found and we can just hit import. So in the past, Notebook LM only allowed for us to add our own sources and then it would read off that data. Now it has the ability to go to Google, find sources, and you can quickly add them in to start learning about anything you want. So now we have all our sources on this side here. We can see all the websites that it has added and information that it is pulling about bananas and the history about bananas. What is cool is we can hit discover sources and we can add even more. So maybe we wanna add in, has bananas changed flavors over time? And we can hit submit and it's going to go through Google and find even more sources about our bananas. So why don't banana candies taste like real bananas? And why don't banana candies taste like real bananas? And they have all these links about bananas. So again, we can hit import. So in just mere seconds, we have just imported 20 links about bananas and it is all loading. And now we can actually start talking to Notebook LM about bananas. Considering the historical, economical, and biological perspective, what are the major challenges and future directions of the global banana industry? And before we get into the rest of the use cases, and I know you are here for all the banana goodness, don't forget to click the subscribe button because I cover AI content on a daily basis, and that's how you can stay up to date with this ever-growing industry. It is completely free. Subscribe. It helps me keep making content like this beautiful banana video. More seriously, here's our major challenges. It tells us where it comes from and it has a very good understanding, future direction, a very good understanding about bananas. And in about 60 seconds, we're able to add all this information about bananas to start learning about this topic super quickly. Another recent feature of Notebook LM is this one here. So there is this discover sources button and what are we interested in? And you can just say, hey, I'm feeling curious. So it is going to just pick a random topic. It's going to load the sources for that topic. And now we are learning about the illuminate and diverse benefits, practicalities of starting and key challenges of community gardens. So just like that, we are now learning about gardens. Just pure curiosity is such a great use case of Notebook LM because you can just say, hey, what are you going to teach me today? And it will pull up the documents. You can start asking it questions. You can have that podcast with it and you can start learning about any topic super quickly. You don't even have to pre-pick the topic, but the use cases get better from here on out. So let's continue. We have Google Gemini here with deep research 2.5 pro. And it says, I want to learn about space travel and it is putting together a plan for us. And you can see here it has a roadmap and we're going to hit start research. Our deep research is done and we can see our overview here. It has looked through 340 websites so we can export to docs and that is going to give us something like this and it is 45 pages of text. But how does this work with Notebook LM? Well, let me show you and we can put it in the pasted text. We can add it as links. I'm gonna show you that we can use Gemini to leverage Notebook LM. On Gemini, we can say, I'm trying to make a Notebook LM about space travel. Can you give me 10 different prompts? I can tell it to explore. So it is going to give us the prompts. And when we go back to Notebook LM, we can hit discover sources. We can describe something that we want Notebook LM to look up. So here we go. We have the history of space exploration. We can hit submit or copy and paste, submit. We are going to select our sources and we can hit import. We can come back and now we can say, hey, life as an astronaut, this was kind of cool. And now we can go again, add sources, discover, submit. It is going to keep adding sources for us based on what Gemini is telling us for it to add. So it is just a good way to expand your information on a topic really quickly. 
The last way I'm going to show you how to use Notebook LM is by using it as a content creation machine. Create a tweet about space. Enter. And now it is going to go through all the sources that we just gave it, and it is going to create a tweet for us. It even has hashtags. So just like that, we now have a tweet based off space, and we can keep prompting it to make tweets. We can create podcasts. We can create all sorts of different social media content from Facebook posts. We can get ideas for Pinterest, so on and so forth. We can really leverage Notebook LM to learn stuff. We can leverage it to create content. We can leverage it to understand different things and ask it questions. And it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for us and figure out the answer. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm you enjoy this type of content. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. I cover AI content every day and you get to stay in the know and don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this one thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one